All right, guys. Uh, I'm out here with that handyman motor here, and uh, I'm gonna fire it up here. See how it runs. I got it running today. It didn't take very long, but uh, see if it uh, can get this thing running. Put the rope around it here. That's that motor that's going to go on that handyman outside. So, what I had to do to this was uh, I took this head off right here and uh, there was no compression. So, the exhaust valve was stuck. So, I sprayed a little bit of penetrating oil and turned it and it just dropped down. So, that was a good thing. And right now I got I got to put a gasket in here because the the emotion tube is not seating in there, and that's where you get this leaky gas here, and it'll come out right here. That's because that's not seating in there. So I'll have to uh, take this carburetor and uh, do a good clean on it, and the flywheel. Uh, I wasn't getting any spark out of it, so I took this flywheel off and got in there where the points are. And the little plunger in there that opens up your points was uh, stuck. So I was able to get it out, clean it, and uh, get it back in there. And setting the points on these, you need two little wrenches. And so I checked the, the points gap on this, and it was only set it seven thousands it's not going to run it on seven thousand so i reset it and i put them at eighteen thousand you can put them at eighteen thousand to twenty no more than twenty and no less than eighteen i find that eighteen to twenty it that's seems to work the best uh 
so all I got to do now is, uh, and this, this motor is really clean for being on that tractor. That guy really took care of this and had it stored. Cause if he hadn't had this stored, this motor would have never been this clean. And uh, all I got to do now is just uh, get a carburetor kit and get this stopped from leaking gas and clean up the cover and I'm going to do an oil change on it. I usually put 30 weight in there. Um, and that's about it guys. I mean this motor uh, here uh, maybe tomorrow uh, depends. Uh, I might have that on that tractor out there that handyman. It's dark right now but um, see if we can get this thing up on there and I got to well I got one more thing to do I got to clean the gas tank because it's got some stuff down there in the sediment bowl so I'm going to let that soak tonight and see if I can get this video posted and this is that Z or ZZ because like I said the tag is messing on it so this thing don't smoke uh, it's got great compression um, cast iron bottom old school motor and uh I forgot to on the, on the video yesterday or whatever when I did the video on the tractor I forgot to show this motor here I picked up a spare motor for it and it seems to be all complete except the oil bath and these motors are extremely heavy they probably weigh over a hundred pounds and this one does have the tag on it and it's a ZZ there's two Z's right there, and then uh, a lot of times guys, back in a long time ago, I was told that some of them that couldn't read, and they had they would take these off, and they would take it to a store to get parts, and then they wouldn't put them back on the motor. Uh, you know, so you'd think they would just wrote it down on a piece of paper, this model number, and then you could get like, you know, head gasket, carburetor kit, but some people back in the day, they didn't know how to read or write. So they would just take this metal tag off and take it to Sears or wherever. And get, and just don't worry about, they just don't even put the tag back on it. But that's how, that's what I was told. So I don't know if there's any truth to that. But here's another backup motor. So if I ever, you know, if that one ever something ever happens I got a motor here and that's my next project is getting this model ZZ and it looks like it's really in good shape got all the parts except the oil bath and like I said all I got to do is uh, on this cover here is like I said this is your governor wire and which goes right on this arm here so that, that controls your governor. And then here's where you do your adjust, adjustment. So I clean this all up. So all I got to do, like I said, I just got to put that on there and get it on the tractor and see if we can get this thing, uh, do a demonstrating, uh, this tractor running out here. So it's kind of late tonight. Uh, I'm pretty much done. Uh, tomorrow morning I'm going to start on this carburetor and put a new kit in it get that stop from leaking and soak this carburetor or this gas tank tonight I mean and I might clean up this oil bath cleaned up a little bit on it uh, I don't know if I'm going to paint it or not I might just leave it the way it is and just clean it off and sometime in the future I might paint this cover or something but that's it guys uh i just wanted to show this motor that i got running and uh till the next time you know all right